Nigeria exempts Dangote, two other firms, from border closure. Hello everyone, welcome back to Greenfield Media. We hope you're doing well. Thank you for following us and God bless you. Please like this post and uh, share with your friends. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Let us know what you think about the story in the comment section also. Thank you again for following us. So, uh, Bloomberg is reporting that uh, Dangote and uh, two other firms have been exempted from the border closure. So uh, it's basically, uh, should I say it's some kind of nepotism, but let's hear what Bloomberg is saying about uh, how Dangote and uh, two other firms have been allowed to uh, use the border after it's been closed on the uh, average uh, entrepreneur. So Nigeria has allowed Dangote cement to resume exports across its land borders, raising hopes that Africa's most populous nation may be opening up trade with neighbors after a year-long blockade. President Muhammad Buhari's administration gave permission for Africa's biggest cement producer to export to Niger, Togo in the third uh, quarter uh, for the first time in 10 months. Michel Pusher Kos, chief executive officer of uh, Dangote, said on an investment call, investors call on Monday. The exemption of Dangote cement is seen as a softening of the government's position on a border closure that started in August last year and could open the way for other businesses to fully resume exports across the country's land borders. BUA Group and a gas company have uh, received presidential approval to move goods across the land border also. Joseph Atadi, spokesman for Nigerian Customs, said by phone from Lagos, without providing details. Rival Lafag Africa PLC hasn't received permission to export across the land borders according to a company spokeswoman. Nigerian authorities close borders with neighboring countries including Benin and Niger to curb smuggling and boost local production. Although the blockade encouraged the uh, consumption of locally grown produce such as rice it hurt uh, factories across West Africa, which rely on Nigeria's market of 200 million people. Dangote resumed land exports with uh, restricted volumes and plans to grow the trade uh, using the sea channels, uh, according to Pusher Coast. A total of 69 tons were exported through land borders in the period, less than 1% of the uh, 11 1,741 tons of uh, cement sales uh, in the nine months through September. The Lagos-based companies uh, plan to buy back some office shares has been delayed by market volatility and low liquidity, which have uh, affected valuation. Golami Moyen, acting chief financial officer, said at the same conference call, the Angote cement shares were unchanged at 185 naira per unit at close in Lagos, the commercial capital. The stock uh, have gained 30% uh, this year compared to 21.6% uh, advance in the, I mean, by the 153-member Nigerian Stock Exchange uh, main board index. So uh, you have all heard it. While the average Nigerian is trying to uh, put things together, maybe trying to struggle through the pandemic. Those that uh, depend on the borders for their trade, those that depend on the border for getting their raw materials and goods to sell, are still struggling. But the federal government has decided to grant Dangote and uh, two other companies access to the borders. I thought. Border closure was about uh, the old economy of the country and uh, we were going to bury it together. But why is uh, Dangote, BUA Cement and another gas company being exempted? This is a Bloomberg report stating all of this. So it's hardly uh, a matter of uh, tribalism or somebody is trying to, uh, you know, uh, cause uh, trouble with, uh, with uh, Dangote or somebody is trying to be petty. With a report like this so it's, it's, sh it's shocking for me that after almost no more than a year that the borders have been closed 
about a year and two months now. That's uh, 14 months. But the only person that they've allowed to access the borders is the richest man in the country. So uh, other Nigerians are second class citizens. Why Dangote and his uh, enterprise are first class citizens. So we should <laughs> all be very wary of all of this. Because I, I, don't, I don't see any certain, any certain company being allowed to do bo- uh, business across the border. But of course, Mr. Dangote and his people got his way. Let us know what you think about the story. Do you think it's it's uh, tribalism at play? Do you think it's uh, nepotism? Do you think it's uh, giving uh, Dangote an unfair advantage over his competition? Hmm? That's what I think. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Please, thank you for following us again. And God bless you.